Thanks for tuning in today to Fellowship with the Doorman. I am your host, Evangelist Ed Henry Jr. Only what's done for Christ will last. All of your worldly gains will soon, soon be past. Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, for my sins. We have to impress God. And the only way that we impress God is, is by asking Jesus Christ, His Son, His Son to come in to our hearts and speak to the audience out there. You know, they are all door men and door women. Thanks for tuning in today to Fellowship with the Doorman. I am your host, Evangelist Ed Henry Jr. To my Facebook friends, we hope that you're enjoying the new segment that we're doing. As, as we bring it to you live uh, and, and to Bell Global Network, uh, which is the, the, the source that brings this, this program. We thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, God has blessed us so much. Uh, you know, we seem to be coming out of, the, out of the harsh weather. This is March, so what a joy as we look forward to spring. We thank you. We praise God. We thank God for every moment. We're going to get right into the message. Uh, the title of this message today is Judge Not. God tells us to not to judge or else we'll be judged ourselves. Amen. And God tells us to have compassion. It's not about you. It's not about me. Never has been. Never will be. Hallelujah. Let's go to the to the word. Father God, in the name of your loving Son and our Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you, Father. We praise you, God, for the privilege, God, to come to you in prayer and praise and in agreement with your word. Father, we just love you so much, God, for your grace and your mercy. And God bless us. Bless this program, God, as we reach out to our brothers and sisters. And we thank you for the for the supporters that continue to support us to Bring this program forward. We love you, God. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Uh, God has blessed me with a, a new song uh, that I do at the end of this program. It's called So Far, So Good. You think that you made it. You know, we go through life and we're planning, but uh, and, and, and God blesses us, us with money. He blesses you with a nice home, a nice car. And you think that you made it, but you forgot my God. I call him my God. I hope you call him your God because you think that you made it, but you forgot my God who is the creator. Whatever we have is just temporary. It's just temporary here on this land. We can't take it with us. Amen? Can't take it with us. Let's go to the Word. Uh, let's go to Matthew, the 7th chapter. First verse. God tells us, Judge not that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure... Ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the, the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is thine in thine own eye? Amen? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote of thine eye, and beholdest a beam is in your own eye? Hallelujah. I didn't say that. God said that. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls unto the swine. Let they, lest they trample under your own feet, 
and turn again and ran you. Ask, and it shall be given you. Amen. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Hallelujah. God's word is, is so true. Uh, it's a, a word that we live by each and every day. We should live by it. Uh, we can't think that we're beyond and above being doing the right thing. Amen? Hallelujah. Now, let's go back to break this down. God tells us, judge not. Judge not that ye be not judged. You know, we can all think of four instances where we fail to hold our tongue. You know, God says that that tongue, that tongue that we speak on, it's, it's so critical to our existence and it's, it's not that serious that we have to that that we have to chime in on everything to come down the pike because if you know something it's not that serious. How can we? It's not that serious that we have to always get the last word in. We, we all know some of those people. Amen. I was one of those people and I check my tongue each and every day. Check your tongue. Judge not that ye be not judged. Hallelujah. God tells us, don't judge. Don't point your finger at your fellow man. Amen. Don't point your finger at that fellow man of yours. God tells us, don't make complicated things complicated. Don't make simple things complicated. Instead, make Complicated things, simple. Hallelujah. You know, uh, uh, keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut. That's what it's about. Judge not that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye met, it shall be measured unto you again. Hallelujah. Let's go over to the New Living Translation to see what that says. For others will treat you as you treat them. Whatever measure you are you use in judging, otherwise it will be used to measure how you are judged. Amen. Uh, I recall I'm guilty. I was in Israel uh, some months ago, and uh, our our leader it was. It was four ministers on the uh, on the tour. We were there for ten days, and uh, we were at the at the Dead Sea. You know that dirty black water that's used for God's purpose. Uh, but the Dead Sea is dirty water, dirty black water, and they tell you don't don't let the salty water get into your eye. So our leader, uh, uh, he was out, out in the water, and, and, and I'm out there myself, and I'm looking. It was hot. You know, it was hot. So we, we went to the side of the Dead Sea, and, and there's dirty black mud that we put on our bodies, you know, for the healing. And we put it on your face and, and many parts of your body. But it's a shower as you come out of the Dead Sea. Uh, so... Once you've done your ministry in the Dead Sea and enjoyed the Dead Sea, uh, there it is. You come out and you take a shower. It's, it's continuous water running. And uh, you take your own soap and then you go to the, to the uh, changing room and put your clothes on. But our leader, he had walked out into the water and I'm looking and I see him. You know, they're, they're bringing him out of the water. Two men, one on each arm, and, and, and he's stumbling, he's walking. And I looked, I said, why, why are they bringing him out of the water like that? So I had judged him. I had judged him. So I went out myself. I went out past my knees, uh, between my knees 
and, and my hips. I went out too far. I had judged him. It was just a small thing, but I had judged him. Uh, I walked out too far. It was all right for me when, when I laid back to float. See, because you don't sink. You don't sink in the Dead Sea. That's, that, that's water. It's dirty, black water. But don't get it in your eyes because it's salty. So I went out and I, I leaned back and, and I floated. And actually, we were just having fun talking about bring a TV remote and, and all that crazy stuff. But as I prepared to stop floating, I, I reached out and, and I couldn't find the bottom. I had walked out too far and I continued to walk out further as I floated. So I'm trying to find my footing, but I couldn't find my footing. But I eventually had to go for it. So I, I just stood up and uh, my, my head went under the water as, as I found to, as I was trying to find my balance. So I got water in my eyes, you know, but they are aware of this there. You know, they have water that they put in your eyes and they have people standing by to help you out of the water. So two people grabbed me, they taking me out. The same thing I judged my brother for. Why are they taking him out like that? But it was a small thing. I didn't say anything, but I'm wondering to myself, why are they taking that big man out of the water like that? And the same thing happened to me. God tells us, judge not that ye be not judged. Amen? For, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye met, it, sh it shall be measured to you again. Amen? God tells us not to judge. I got a little poem here that I'm going to read for you. Uh, judge not, Matthew the seventh chapter, the first and second verse. Judge not that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And what, what measure ye met, it shall be measured to you again. But this is... Uh, a uh, funny poem here. It's it's a little joke, but it, it's uh, it reads: I was shocked, confused as I entered heaven's door, not by the beauty of it all, nor the lights or its decor, but it was the folks in heaven who made me sputter and gasp, the thieves, the liars, the sinners, the alcoholics, the trash. Wow. That's a whole lot of judging going on right there. There stood the kid from seventh grade who swiped my lunch money twice. Next to him was my old neighbor who never said anything nice. Amen? His name was Herb, who I always thought was rotting away in hell. He was sitting pretty on cloud nine, looking incredibly well. Amen? I was nudged. I asked Jesus. I said, Jesus, what's the deal? I would love to hear your take. How'd all these sinners get up here? God must have made a mistake. And why is everyone so quiet, so somber? Jesus, please give me a clue. Jesus said, hush, child, said he. They're all in shock. No one thought they'd be seeing you. Hallelujah. Judge not. Because as, as we judge, amen, we're going to be judged the same way. Judge not. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Woo! Praise God. You know, God tells us, Philippians, the fourth chapter, 19th verse, But my God, my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory. Amen. By Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Judge not. Amen. Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull up the mote out of thine eye, and behold a beam 
is in thine own eye. So people are looking up to, at us the same way. It's not that serious. That, that we have to have the last word on everything. You know, there are, are some people that are just so aggravating. And uh, uh, we feel sorrow for them because they always have an opinion. Amen. God wants us to have an opinion, but we don't necessarily have to let it, let it come out to bring it out. Amen. And uh, we go through life thinking that we are all that, but, but it's not about us. Amen. Never has been and never will be because God is there. He forgives. He forgives. You know, he gives us time to get it together. You know, you go through life and you're doing dumb things, but God is there for you. He tells us that he'll never leave us or forsake us. Amen. And he's told us in Philippians, but my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory. His riches. Amen. My God. That's what I call it. What do you call it? You know, we're all going to be judged one day or another. Amen. Everybody's going to live. Everybody's going to live. You're going to live in heaven or you're going to live in hell. Amen. You're going to live in heaven or in hell. Hallelujah. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And, and, and in thy name have cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Keep this shut. Keep that mouth shut. You know, uh, ask God. You can do this through the Holy Spirit. You know, I can do anything through Christ who strengthens me. But without him, I can do nothing. You can't do anything. You think that you can. Amen. God tells us to work while it's day to make a difference. Amen. Work while it's day. I thank you so much for supporting Fellowship with the Doorman, for continuing to support Fellowship with the Doorman. We try our best to make a difference. We bring you guests. We bring you ministers. We bring you songs. And, and without you, there would be no Fellowship with the Doorman. And, and as the weather's going to get better, we're going to be bringing you many different guests, some from out of town and, and some locally. Amen? I got something else I'm going to bring. This is kind of cute. Uh, it says, noticed. Uh, you know, when you go into your workspace, uh, uh, you might see a sign on the wall. It says, notice. It has been brought to our attention that we have been working with Four suspected terriers. You you uh you remember when they were trying trying to find Bin Laden? Bin Laden, amen. Well, this is on on the bin. Uh it has been brought to our attention that we have been working with four suspected terriers. Uh one of them was been sleeping. So on on, on the workplace, you know, there's always gonna be some of those people. Uh, the second one was Ben Loafing. Amen? So, uh, in a job, you know, you're going to find some loafers, some slackers, they call them. And the third, Terrius, was Ben Drinking. Ben Drinking on the job. Amen? Ben Sleeping, Ben Loafing, and Ben Working, they've all been caught. You know, they've all been apprehended. But officials were unable to find anyone in the company fitting the fourth person. Remember, remember I said it has been brought to our attention that there were four suspected terrorists. Amen? But the last person that they're looking for is Ben Working. Ben Working. Amen? 
police are confident that anyone here who looks like he's been working will be very easy to spot. Amen. So God tells us to work while it's day. Amen. Work while it's day to make a difference. To make a difference. That's what it's about. To be pleasing to God. To be pleasing to God. Hallelujah. We thank you so much. I, I, as I just ask you, please continue to support Fellowship with the Door, man. I love you all. I love you. I, I thank God for you because you make this program possible. I'm going to bring you uh, my latest recording. We're in the process of working on a, a video on this song. This song is going to go throughout the land as, as my other music has. This song is called So Far So Good. You think that you made it, but you forgot my God who is the creator. I hope you like it. I believe you will because this song is anointed. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Praise God. So far, so good. You think that you made it? You forgot my God, who is the Creator. So far, so good. You think that you made it? You forgot.
thank you, Father. Thank you, God, for the privilege to be here today. And I thank you out there in TV land. Pass the word. We're here every week on Facebook Live, Bell Global Network, Fellowship with the Doorman. I thank God so much for the privilege to be here with you. And just pass the word on and whatever you do, don't judge. Don't judge. Amen. It's not about you. Never has been. Never will be. We praise God and continue to, to bless us as we bless you and our brothers and sisters throughout the world. We love you. We praise you. Father God, we thank you so much for everything. And see you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Woo! I'm excited. You excited? Everybody, this is your girl Vicky Winans, and you're watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy D. Hattie, watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching Bell Global Network. Hi, everybody. I'm telling you, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentini, AG, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times, and you are watching Bell Global Network.